In this CyberStart cybersecurity tutorial, we'll be doing the headquarters space and level 11. In level 11, let's do kryptonite, so challenge 11. Let's read the briefing. Yesterday, our undercover agent let us know about an encryption tool one of the gang built called kryptonite. It runs on one of the Bulldog's private servers and we think it might be vulnerable. See if you can use it to get access to the server and look for any files that might be worth investigating. We think the gang member who built it, Percy Pinkley, is involved in the gang's effort to circumvent the bank's main security alarms. So he might have been storing files on the server related to blueprints or security system. So our tip for this challenge is, there's a file on the server and it contains the flag. So here we can see that Kryptonite is a tool the gang built. So let's see if it's a like a package. So we could type Kryptonite, and since it's on the server, it should behave like a Linux terminal. So Kryptonite, and okay, so we get returned the version of Kryptonite. Maybe we can try something. So usually, if we need help, we could do like that's h. Okay, let's try. Oh, so we know what commands are available. Let's try it without the capital C because that might interfere. Okay, great. So we did H to um, show arguments. So that's the argument we used. And this one is an encrypt argument, a decrypt argument, and a password argument. And there's also ignore argument. These three are normal arguments that seem reasonable, but this ignore argument seems a bit suspicious because normally we wouldn't use it. So let's try with the ignore argument. And let's try this and see if we got anything. So no valid arguments entered. If we do dash p, we get the same thing. Let's try dash h, but maybe we can do an attack where we run two commands at once. So by running this ignore command, we um, include a, we include a semicolon, which can, allows us to run another command. So if we do ls, we can see all the files. So what we essentially did there was we called their ignore command, and then by using a semicolon, we're now able to run another command. So we're in their system, and we know the name of a file. So let's cat it to see what's inside. And great, we got our flag. Let's test it. In this challenge, we learn how to use the command line and how to extract data.